Jesus, the Lord of Lord, I want to give this message and this revelation, and I know it will transform your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, before I, I bring this, I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lord, I pray that you may bless your word, cleanse your word in the name of Jesus. Every confession of the enemy, let it be rebuked, be destroyed in Jesus' name. I pray your grace, your wisdom, your power, your fire in Jesus' name, that we, uh, we, we that we take control over this place in Jesus' name. Father, the reason, uh, may you transform them, may you give them wisdom, knowledge, to understand your word in the name of Jesus. I pray the presence of God, O oh God, to be here in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You all pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yes, praise the Lord Jesus. I want to give this message about be uh, uh, be aware of Jezebel, the warning of being aware of being aware of Jezebel spirit, of being aware of the spirit, uh, being aware of the church that is called Jezebel, the church that is deceiving, the church that you come to see what God, God Almighty is saying about it. Because this church is deceiving many people, this church is making many people to enter hell and even deceiving and misreading even servants, even the even the servants even the children of God and they are being deceived that they may enter here. So as we are going to see, I want us to look and to enter in the book uh, I want us to enter in the book of Revelation and the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse uh, 20 the Bible says this the Bible says this, nevertheless I have this against you, you tolerate that woman Jezebel who called herself a prophetess by her teaching, she misread my servant into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. Hallelujah. See, this is what God is saying, that nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who called herself prophetess, to teach you by her teaching, she has mis misread my servants into sexual immorality and eating of food which are sacrificed to idols. God is saying to these churches, of this end time that what God is saying about the church in this time is that God have something against the church in this hour. God have something against the church of today that they have around the teaching of Jezebel. They have around the teaching the doctrines of Jezebel who have been around to preach. She have called herself prophetess and therefore she have taken the altar of God by preaching, by teaching and you know that a woman sh shall not preach in the church in the altar of God and teach in the in the, in the church of God, in the altar. Now God is saying that I have some this thing against you, that you have tolerated that woman who called herself prophetess. She have now misread my servant into sexual sin. She have now misread even the churches into other doctrines of demons and to eat the food that are sacrificed for demons, for idols. This is what God is saying, that never that I have something against you, that this woman who calls herself prophetess, she is a dangerous woman. She is an evil woman, and her mother is called the, 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 the great mother, the, the great prostitute, who is the mother of all abomination. That is her mother. This, this Jezebel spirit is a daughter, and Jezebel is her, her, the mother of Jezebel is called the abomination, and uh, the, 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 is called the, uh, the great mother of uh, all abomination, the prophets, prostitute of the whole world, that you know the great Babylon, the great prostitute of all abomination and of all prostitutes in the world. Therefore, this this uh, this daughter who is called Jezebel, she is a dangerous woman who in this end time, who in this time that you are living in end time, have taken the mantle, have taken the leadership in the church, have taken the leadership to teach, to preach, calling herself prophetess. She has been given the pulpit and now what she is doing, she is deceiving the church of God. She is making, she is mis misreading even the servants of God into sexual sin, misreading the servant of God into immorality, misreading even the church to adore, uh, even the church to come to another doctrines of satanism and to sacrifice the doctrines that are, the, the, the doctrines to eat food that are sacrificed for demons. This is what God is saying. That as you know that in the, in the word of God in the book of Revelation, 
there comes this woman who calls herself Jezebel. She is the one that will kill the church of today. She is the one that will bring down ministers, preachers, apostles, prophets, and all evangelists, and pastors and teachers. This woman who calls herself prophetess, because of her being around to rule, because of her being around to teach, to preach, she is the one who will bring those, uh, those uh, servants down by sexual sin, by lust, by deceiving them to, to, to enter to the doctrines of demons, to enter to the teachings of misreading. God is saying that as it was during the days of Eve, that when Eve was used to, uh, to, to, to who Eve was used to, to, to for uh, Adam, that is what will happen even at this time. That like Eve, how she was used, and because of Adam hearing the teachings of Eve and accepting Eve to take authority over her, therefore Adam was deceived. And because of that result, we we are now suffering because of Eve what she committed. God is saying that as Eve was used, therefore. The church of today, they must be aware of this spirit that is called Jezebel woman because she will be used again if you don't watch out to deceive, to make many prophets to fall and to seduce many servants and to kill the children of God spiritually, physically, they will die because they have accepted the doctrines of Jezebel. This is the profile of Jezebel. I want to give the, 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 the profile, the appearance of Jezebel, that you may know the image of Jezebel, that who is this Jezebel that God is speaking today. And you will know the truth, and you will not be deceived by Jezebel again. One thing about Jezebel, the Bible tells us that nevertheless, I have this against you, you tolerate that woman Jezebel who called herself prophet. See, that God is saying that this woman, she called herself prophetess, and this woman is representing for that church, for that church that called herself prophetess, that called herself that she is filled with gift. This woman, God is saying, she is a woman that, that claim, she is a church that claim, that is filled with gift, gift of prophesying, gift of doing so and so, gifts of tongue, but they are all false gift. In order that it may, she may deceive the church, in order that it, she may mislead the children of God to hell. That is one profile of this woman. Another profile of this woman is the Bible says that by her teaching she has misread. By the teaching that she offer, by the teaching that she preach, she have misread the servant of God. She have misread the children of God. Now they are going to the way of uh, to the way uh, uh, to, to another way, which is the way without righteousness, which is the way without holiness. She has misread. She have made make astray the children of God to turn away from the true doctrines of God because of her teaching. Because of the church, that ch church that is called Jezebel, because of ja that woman that is called Jezebel, she have entertained the false doctrines, she have entertained the false gospel of preaching and turning to another gospel of prosperity, turning to another gospel of seducing, the, another gospel of money, another gospel that does not promote the kingdom of God, another gospel that does not promote the holiness, the righteousness and the sanctification of the church of God. That is the prophet of the, this uh, of this woman who called herself Jezebel. Another thing, she have misread in she have misread the church into sexual sin. Even she have called servants to to walk in sexual sin, to walk in lasting. And now this woman is so seductive. Why? Because this woman she know how to paint herself. Jezebel. Remember that Jezebel is the a daughter of, uh, of the great mother of Harold of all Harold of the world. So is the mother. So is, is, is so so she is a bastard. Meaning that her mother is the great prostitute. Therefore, this daughter, this Jezebel, she is so seductive. The way she wear, the way she preach, she is so seductive with the makeups, with the clothes that are showing the body private with the crew that are showing the private parts so that she may deceive the servant and the bible says well that you have to relate her and because of tolerating her and her teachings now she have misread many servants into sexual sin look this is what god is saying that that woman is so emotional in the things of sexual sin she preaches in the things of this world she preaches like the world she preaches like the world she dresses like the world she does the makeups of the world the makes up the makeup like a prostitute just like how you see you, you, you see that this Jezebel, the, 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 the real Jezebel was dressing, the real Jezebel was doing makeup in order that she may seduce 
Men, she was a prostitute, and so whenever she does makeup, she do it very good in order to please men, in order to make her uh, uh, men uh, to, to to attract the world, to attract men, and to make to be nice, to be sexy. That is how she call herself. She call herself to be sexy, and therefore that kind of doctrine have make men to fall in sin, in sexual sin. That is what God is saying, that you have allowed Jezebel, and because of that, many men, even pastors, they are falling, even prophets, even evangelists, even apostles, they are now falling in sexual sin, because they have tolerated that woman, even in the church, that woman tolerated, they have not rebuked Jezebel, they have not rebuked them, those wild clothes, those clothes that are showing them the body show, those clothes that are tight, those clothes that are so sexy, now the church have been turned like now Jezebel is coming with those prostitution clothes, those prostitution clothes and fashion, and now men are falling, falling in lust, falling in sexual sin, falling in masturbation, falling and even going back to the world because of her. This is why you see even the church of today is many. They don't have men. Men are lost. Men are lost and men are, uh, I mean, there's no men in the church. Why? Because this woman who call herself Jesus, those who, this woman who call herself prophetess, she have taken hold of the altar. She have taken hold in the, uh, in the place of men, in the authority of men. And therefore, she have also, this, uh, uh, she has also seduced many men. And they, she have uh, made those men to be, mis she have misled the men. And they have been straight because of sexual sin. They have been caused to fall in sexual sin. This is what God is saying. That this woman is so seductive, the way she walks, her appearance is so seductive, she doesn't cover her body, she shows the body so that she may seduce the church. She may, she may seduce even the pastor, even the prophetess. They have been seduced. This woman, she wants to drink the blood of prophets. She wants to drink the blood of the servants of God. And she have break the, uh, the, 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 she have brought out, she have removed the holiness of God in the church. This is what God is saying. Another profile of this woman who call herself Jezebel is that she have allowed the eating of food that are sacrificed for, for idol. She have allowed the teaching, the teaching that she has, they are the sacrifice of idols. The sacrifice of idols means that the way she worship, the way she conduct the worship, that kind of a chair that I'm speaking with, she's called Jezebel. She have allowed the, 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 the food that are a sacrifice to the idol. The worship that is sacrificed to the idol. The way they worship, the way they worship, they worship like the world. Food that are sacrificed for the idol. Food that are sacrificed for the demons. Sacrifice. Worship that are given for the demons. For the worship of the world. Worship like the world. They she have allowed the church of God to eat the food that are sacrificed for the idols. The way she worship, the way she preach, all those kind of teaching, it is like the world. The way she dress, it is like the world. The way she sing, the way she conduct the sermon, it is like the world. Everything is like the world. You cannot differentiate her between the world and even between the prostitute. Even the song that she has, the worship that she has, the worship bird, it is like the worship bird of disco. The things that she has, the sacrifice that they offer, it is the sacrifice of demons. It is not a sacrifice of a holy God. That is what God is saying. That if you don't watch out for this, uh, for this Jezebel, she has come with the full authority to make them, to make men down, to destroy the church of God, to fall the church in this end time. Like how Eve was, uh, like how Eve, uh, uh, like how Eve uh, misread Adam to eat the fruit. Now this woman who call herself Jezebel, she has come again that the church may be misread, that the church will fall down, that the church will never rise again, because she is a daughter, and this daughter, her mother is called the, the great uh, Babylon, the mother of all prostitutes. She is a, she is a son, she is a daughter of the prostitute the great prostitute and her mother is a harold therefore it is time to wake up for the church because this woman who called herself jezebel who called herself prophetess she have taken hold of the church the church today that the way they are worshiping they are worshiping like jezebel they are worshiping like the world this is because of the things of jezebel this is because that jezebel has taken a uh, has taken hold in the altar taken hold in the ministry and it is time to wake up because the lord jesus and he's coming is near.
Jezebel. The mission of this woman who is called Jezebel. The mission of this church that calls herself prophetess. This church that claims she has the gift of the Holy Spirit. She knows how to proclaim the gospel. She knows how to prophesy with the spirit of divination. I want to give the mission of this woman that you may be aware of this woman who have come to seduce, who have come to destroy the church of God and to, break, to, to take out holiness inside the church of God. Therefore, the first thing that this, uh, this spirit of Jezebel, this woman has come to do, she has come to mislead us with a false, uh, false gift. She has come with a false gift, false tongues. You hear people now, the, all the people in the church are being commanded that, 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 that the evidence of the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongue and therefore you must speak all in tongue in the church. She has come with those teachings that she may mislead the church with the false teachings, false gift and therefore that is why you hear today we have false gift many false gift branding of false gift counterfeit of false gift counterfeit of prophets counterfeit of evangelists counterfeit of apostles counterfeit of of the servants of god because she have come with the false gospel she have come with false ministries she have come with false titles of ministry calling herself prophet and she is not a prophet she is a prostitute so she used the name of prophet so that she may seduce men she may find a door to seduce the men in church to seduce and to bring down the church in the holiness to bring church god the to bring down the church of god this is one thing that the woman has come she is the one who is responsible of, of, of false teachings teachings of the world teaching like the world all those kind of teachings and using of false powers false powers false miracle she has come with all those kind of things her mission is to destroy her mission is to, is to deceive the elected if it was possible her mission is to defy the bride of christ her mission is to defy the elected of god with the sexual sin with the things with the idol with the worshiping of the old things with the worshiping of another worship which is not a worship of a holy god of israel this is the mission of Jezebel. Another thing, the mission of Jezebel is to bring forth teaching, the worldly gospel, the gospel that cannot turn people away from sin, the gospel that does not turn away preachers away from the rest of the money, the gospel that does not promote the righteousness, the holiness of God. This is the work of Jezebel. She has come with those false gospel, those false teachings, those gospel that claim that God looks at heart. I can dress like a prostitute. Yes, God looks at heart. The, those, those kind of doctrines, those kind of gospel belong to Jezebel, belong to this Jezebel who is a prostitute. And she know by bringing such teachings, she will continue to do her harotary in the church. She will continue to do, to stripe, she will continue even to stripe her clothes in the church in order that men may be seduced and she will defy the worship of God, defy the church, defy the altar and strain and, uh, and defy the altar and even drain the anointing out of the, uh, from that pulpit, from that altar of God. Therefore, she has come with those, those false gospels, false teaching of false grace, living in false grace, living with, with false hope, saying and claiming that she will enter heaven, that the church will enter heaven heaven but when you look at this church that is entering heaven if they don't have holiness that is one thing that Jezebel has come to do her mission is to destroy the church her mission is to fall them her mission is to destroy them and is to mislead with the false gospel that you may be a Christian but you don't have holiness you may be a Christian but you are lying you may be a Christian but you are joking with the world you may be a Christian but you are committing sexual sin and even going through for pornography and masturbation and dressing like a harrow that is the doctrines of Jezebel that you may do all those things and at the end you will enter heaven that is right that is another doctrine of jezebel which is the doctrine of hell the jezebel without the, the the doctrine without holiness is a gospel of the jezebel which is a gospel that will not take you to heaven but will take you to the lake of fire at the end this is the mission this is the mission of jezebel spirit in the church of god be aware and come out from this church be aware and stop following jezebel stop following her teaching and reasoning to her because god is is saying that it is time now that God will not tolerate how people, how churches are being turned over by this uh, Jezebel spirit. Because that spirit of Jezebel has drained the anointing from uh, from servant of God, has drained the anointing from servant, have drained anointing even from pulpit. The pulpit today, they don't have fire. The fire that used to be in the pulpit, the fire of holiness, the fire of righteousness, the fire of repentance, their pulpit has been drained by this, this spirit of Jezebel. And Jezebel has taken control over the pulpit, taken control over the church of God. 
This is the mission of Jezebel. Another thing that the mission of Jezebel is doing, she has misread the church. She has come to misread the church with the sin of sexual sin. The clothes they wear, they promote sexual sin. The music, the, the reason, they promote sexual sin. The world, the gospel that they preach, it promotes the things of this world and it promotes sexual sin. And so she has come so that she may defy the church with the sexual sin. She has come so that she may defy the church with the things, things of the world, makeups like Jezebel, earrings and all those kind of things. Caras that you see that now she is a pastor, she is a prophet like she say. But when you look this prophet, she don't have the wholeness of God. You find that her hair is grey, her hair is blue, her nails is red, and all those other caras. She does, she does makeup just like the Jezebel that we know. How Jezebel was painting herself because she was a prostitute. Now she is painting the same way. The church is painting the same way like Jezebel, like that prostitute in order to go and to entice people. How can you come with those makeups in the church of God? How can you wear all those clothes in the church of God? Like you are going to seduce the pastor, like you are going to send your body to the pastor or you are going to send your, your body to the youth there. How can you go to the church with wearing all those tight clothes, those clothes that are showing the body part, those clothes that are very shameful, the clothes that are stained with the sexual rust, the clothes that are stained with the sexual sin and promoting rusting. How can you go with those clothes like you are going to the street, like you are going to the, the, to the street where the, the prostitutes stand? How are you going to seduce pastor? Are you going to seduce the church? Are you going to fall the church of God, to fall those youth, those who are not born again? Are you going to fall them? Why? God is saying that that is the mission of the church, that is the mission of the Jezebel, to fall down the church of God, to fall to defy the church, to defy pastors, to bring down them down and to drain the anointing that they may be left bones. You, you find that they are a pastor now, but is a pastor, but what have been remained in the life of a pastor? It is only a skeleton, a skeleton preaching to people who are dead, skeleton preaching to other skeleton, because Jezebel have drained the anointing, have drained the power, have drained the, 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 the spirit, have drained the power, the vision of the ministry of God, have drained the holiness, drained the anointing, the power, the, go, the, the gift of God. Why? Because Jezebel wants to destroy the church of God and to bring, to bring it down. This is what God is saying. That that is the mission of this, of this, uh, of that is the mission of this uh, Jezebel spirit, which called herself Jezebel. Just like how you know that Jezebel, how she used to do. And you know that that Jezebel, even when she died, when she died, Jezebel, the real Jezebel, when she died, even the dogs could not eat those kind of makeups because those makeups were so defiled that the dog itself cannot even eat those left, those, those, those hand, those mouth, everything, every every part that had that car, the dog, the dog did not eat it. Why? Because it was something that is defiled. That something that is so clean and clean that even even the dogs cannot eat. This is the gospel that God is saying. That is the mission of this Jezebel spirit that has come at this hour that she may destroy the church of God, that she may fall the church of God, that it may not see the kingdom of God. The doctrine of the devil, she have brought the doctrine of the devil. The mission of the enemy, the mission of Jezebel is to bring the doctrines of the enemy, the doctrines of Jezebel, the doctrines of the devil and the food that are sacrificed to idols. Food that are sacrificed to idols is the teachings, the worship, the teaching and the doctrines that are sacrificed for the idol are sacrificed for the demons. Therefore, it is time for the church of God to awake because the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is near and Jezebel has come with much anger. She knows that her time is over and you know she will reunite with the Antichrist. She will be riding the beast. Therefore, she has come that they, that she and her mother, who is the who is the who is Babylon, the, the mother of all heroes, she have come and she will unite that she may bring the church down and drink the blood of prophets, the blood of saints that we read. Therefore, it is time to watch out, it is time to stand because God is warning and telling the church of God, be aware of this spirit of Jezebel. No, there is the resort, uh, there is dangerous resort, there are, there are the horrific resorts of following Jezebel, that those resorts are in the word of God. In the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 22, the Bible says this, So I will curse her, see, that I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling, see, that she, that she, the Jezebel, she, that church, has been given a time to repent, but she is unwilling. 
God wants us to repent, but she is unwilling. Meaning that God may want her to repent and to change her, her style, to change her gospel, but she is unwilling and she will continue doing the evil. Now, God is saying this, 22. So I will cast her on my bed or uh, on the bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her way. See, that God is saying this, that now God will cast her in the bed of suffering, and she will make those people who who works with her therefore so i will cast her on my on the bed of suffering and i will make those who tensely uh th th those th and i will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent for her ways see that god is saying that she will strike that jezebel church she will he, he will strike that jezebel church unless he re unless it repent and then she he will also cast he will also strike those who commit adultery with her those who follow her, 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 her those who follow her teaching those who follow her gospel god will also judge them god will also destroy them this is what the god is saying that god will cast them down god will cast them in the in in the suffering in the bed of suffering they will suffer in that bed of suffering and you know that is not just a bed it is suffering in the eternity suffering in the rake of fire suffering in the eternal lake of fire uh, 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 forever and forever. Therefore, it is not a joke. Those who are following the, 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 the gospel of Jezebel, it is not a joke because them that are following that kind of gospel, they will also suffer with the Jezebel. They will also be cast when God will be striking her. God will strike those who follow the doctrines of Jezebel and they will be striked and they will also go through the pain, go through the suffering the same way that, that that Jezebel spirit will be suffering and will be the same way that the Antichrist, that the beast will be suffering. Therefore, God is saying that even those children that the, those children that she followed, those children that she has read, those children that are following the Jezebel spirit, this kind of a daughter, they too will be striked by God. Look what God is saying that here. Now I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches heart and mind. And, and uh, I repay each of you according to your deed. See, this is what God is saying. That God will now, he will now, he will now strike even her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches the heart and mind. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. See, that is the message that God is saying to all the churches. God is Treading to all the saints, all the believers that are following those kind of doctrines, those kind of doctrines of Jezebel, those kind of gospel of prosperity, those kind of gospel without righteousness, without holiness, those kind of gospel with false prophets and ministers using divination spirits, all those prophets and all those followers. God is saying that God will strike her dead, even her children, and God will repay her, that all church may now come to know that he is a God that searches the heart, and he is a God, he is the one who who repay the evil, who repay everyone according to his deed. Therefore, you must watch out for these doctrines of the Jezebel, because God is saying that he will cast them dead, he will destroy them, all even the followers of Jezebel, even the followers of Jezebel, they will be cast down, they will be destroyed by the fire of God. It is time now to watch out, because the kingdom of God is near, and knowing that when God will strike you dead, it means God will separate you, separate you, dead means Death means to be separated to the presence of God. Therefore, they will be at the place where they are separated from God. And that place is the internal lake of fire. That place is the internal lake of fire where there is death. That is the second death that you know. That all the riots, all the fornicators, all the sexual sins, all the magician, all the witchcraft, all those riots, they will be cast in the lake of fire, which is the second death. And you know the second death will there be the lake of fire. Therefore, all the end of those who follow the, the, the deception, the, for, the end of those who follow the prophets, uh, this, uh, this prophetess, this Jezebel, the end of those who follow those churches, the end of her will be in the internal lake of fire, will be in, in the lake of fire, which is the second death. Therefore, it is time to repent. It is time to change because the God is saying that it is time now to be separate with her because she is deceiving many people. She is deceiving many church. She is deceiving many preachers. She is deceiving and draining many prophets. They are being drained 
in the anointing, the anointing are down. It is time to watch out because the end is near. And the creation, the creator, the God is saying that the kingdom of God is near. Therefore, it's time to watch out for this Jezebel spirit that is seducing. This Jezebel spirit that is seducing and destroying the church of God. Draining the altar. Draining the anointing of the preachers. Draining the anointing of the church. Draining the worship of God to be a useless. Draining them and making the prostitute that has come. She has come to convert the church to be a prostitute like herself. Therefore, it is time to watch out. God is saying that the woman again, the woman again, like Eve, she will be used to destroy the church of God. She will be used to bring it down, to make it fall in sexual sin, to make it fall, to make it be defiled. Therefore, arise and know the truth that this woman that her calls, that called herself Jezebel, she has come with a mission, and that mission is to fail the church of God. Like Eve, so is the Jezebel of today that has come, that she may dry up the church of God. It is time to to open your eyes. It is time to watch out because the kingdom of God is near and Jesus knows the time that we are living. So God is saying, now it is time to come to stand in the word of God, to return to the righteousness, to return to the word of God, to return to holiness because the kingdom of God is coming because this woman, she have taken oath of herself that until she make the church to be down, she will not leave the church. Until she seduce the church of God, until she drain the anointing from the minister of God, she will not come from the church. Therefore, it is time to watch out because the Lord God Almighty is saying that this spirit of Jezebel, she has come to destroy the church. She has come to seduce the church. She has come to kill the fire of God, the worship of God, the worship that, that, used, to, uh, that used to come out from the church. She has come to bring that worship down, to drink even the blood of the prophet, to drink the blood of saints, to drink the blood of the saints of God in this end time. It is time now to run away from this spirit, to run away from the spirit of Jezebel, to run away from the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit and the teacher her doctrines, the way she conducts herself, the way she, she, she does her doctrines, the baptism of doctrines, the bapti baptism of Jezebel. Run away from those gospel, run away from those things because the kingdom of God is near. And you know that all those who follow deception, they will be destroyed. All those who follow all those kind of teachings, they will be destroyed. It is time to stand with the truth, the word of God, the word that lives forever, because the kingdom of God is near. This is the warning that God is saying to all the prophets, God is saying to all the children of God, all the apostles, all the ministers of God, be aware of this woman who call herself Jezebel, because this Jezebel spirit does not like rebuke. If you rebuke her, she will go out of the church. Therefore, she knows that when you rebuke her, she will not and she will not stay wrong in the church. She will just free from the church. Therefore, it is time to rebuke sin, sin. Whenever they came, they come with those kind of evil clothes, those old clothes, the clothes that are, are, are promoting sexual sin, clothes that are promoting nakedness. God is saying, rebuke them, rebuke them, correct them, because if you don't correct them, therefore, they will be raised in another spirit, the spirit of Jezebel. If you are walking with Jezebel, you must rebuke her like how Elijah rebuked her. You must rebuke her like how the prophets rebuked her. Therefore, rebuke her. If you don't rebuke Jezebel, you will be fallen by the Jezebel. The Jezebel will seduce you. She will make you, she will bring you down. It is time for the church to arise and don't give the space to this spirit of Jezebel. Don't give her power to rule. Don't give her power to preach. Don't give her power to teach the author of God because this is the spirit of Jezebel that has come to destroy the church of God to bring out holiness to drain out holiness and the power of God in the church we are in the end time and Jesus Christ the Messiah is coming so watch out and stand still with the word of the living God because the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ is coming run away from from those churches run away from those teachings run away from those doctrines of Jezebel because that is what God is saying that if you do those things if you have listened to those things of Jezebel, therefore it is time for you to repent and to change and to leave her doctrines, to leave her church, to leave her system, to leave her foundation and run away from your life and be saved by the power of the word of God and by the holiness and righteousness of the word of the Lord God Almighty. For that is what God is saying, that those who are spiritual, those who have their spiritual ears, they may hear what God is saying at this hour. Run away and be, away for, be aware of Jezebel's spirit in this end time before it bring you down in the name of Jesus. Amen.